Hey everyone, it's Paige Evans and I want to flip through my newest mini album with you today. This is called Viden in der Oberfalz, if you want to get technical. And it is a round shape because we came full circle. The very first city that we walked around was Viden and the very last city that we walked around was Viden. So that's why the circle shape. On the cover, I stitched paper wedges and then these are Heidi Swap mini alphabet letters. This a row of buildings was fussy cut from the first paper in the 6x6 paper pad, all from my Take Me Away collection with Pink Paisley. Added a paper clip and then did some roller stamping inside. So let's flip on through. On the first page, uh, there's a photo at the top and then a cluster of embellishments. On this page, I fussy cut the buildings paper, which is so appropriate, right? It just goes so well with these uh, colorful and funky buildings. And then if I wanted to, I could, they're like pockets. I could tuck things behind them. Lots of stitching around almost every single page, I think. There might only be one or two without it. Here it's just an embellishment cluster. And then a full page photo of the flowers. Journaling says, give me all the flowers. Not so much journaling as it is a caption. Fussy cut this embroidery hoop from one of the Take Me Away papers. Added hand stitching on top of a half photo page. And then here is journaling about our time in Viden. And this is a heart a mirror sticker. Half page photo. This is a die cut page. So it's like a floral wreath. I backed the flowers and leaves with pattern paper and then topped with buttons and the thickers. So it says love and then I wrote this underneath more mirror stickers, a little flower, and then more flowers fussy cut from paper number one. Lots and lots of flowers throughout this album because it's flower season in Europe. Another, oh, I skipped a page. Rewind. All right, so here we've got a half page photo and then I tucked a half of a floral die cut and it says Fox and Jane. This is a, another die cut, so I I cut the flower page and then backed it with pattern paper. On the opposite side is another floral die cut with a thickers a foam on top and then colors chipboard sticker at the bottom. And I typed all the, so it says love all the colors. On this page I made a pocket so I can tuck more photos and journaling inside. I always have more photos than I seem to be able to include. So pockets are really great for that purpose. Also another way to include lots of photos is to create a collage. Collage of photos that aren't, these aren't necessarily photos that I'd want to be full page photos, but I still want to include them because they are special. So that's one way to do that. As you can see, I left the threads long. I will probably go back and trim them up, but for now I like the texture and whimsy that they add. So yeah, it's a full page photo front and back, a collage, and then here is the Take Me Away Pattern Transparency that I backed with vellum and then added a fab foil foam thicker on top. I kept my mini bow punch with me on our big move back to the United States and I ended up using it. So I felt good about that, bringing it along. And then just a little photo of a cute alleyway. There's lines right here, so I could include journaling at some point, but I didn't quite know what to say at this point, but I can always go back and add that later. This journaling is all about the Maypole or Maibaum, and it's a tradition in Germany. You can read all about it. Here is a layered floral die cut, just a fun filler page. Simple floral die cut in the center, and then I love the bird aviary, the um, bird aviaries that they have in Weiden. It was one of my favorite things to walk to. And then from the six by six paper pad, you can see the country right here. It's a map of Europe and Germany is right here. So that's super appropriate because Biden, Germany. Here comes a bunch of floral pages, lots of flowers. On this transparency, I fussy cut all these flowers and then adhered them in a crescent shape. And then this is probably my favorite photo from the day. I don't know, something about these colors of these roses. It's just so pretty. Sequins, let me bring that up closer so you can see. 
lots of sequins. And then this page is stitching. So I, this is actually the very first page that I did, the cross stitching, even though it's the second to last page in the book. And then I always like to include a family photo from the day. And then this last page is another die cut that I backed with pattern paper and then stamped the date that we went. And it says the end of our Evans Family European Adventures. So that finishes up this mini album. I'm loving making these lately and I hope you are inspired to make some too. Thanks so much, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and see you again soon.